Hey everyone, I'm Kelly with the Suburban Soapbox and today we are making the best and easiest pizza dough ever. This pizza dough comes together so simply in your stand mixer or by hand and we're also going to make the easiest no-cook pizza sauce to put on top of your pizza dough. So to start your pizza dough, you're going to need just a few simple ingredients. Flour, some instant yeast, a little bit of olive oil, some sugar, and salt. And let's talk about the flour for a second. So I like to use this double zero flour. It's an Italian flour. It's finely milled. It's perfect for pizza. You can use all purpose flour, but you're going to end up with like a puffier, more like bread-like crust. One tip, don't ever use bread flour. I don't really like the texture of bread flour. Then you're really gonna get a lofty pizza with like a lot of rise. So all-purpose flour or use this double zero flour. So to start, we're just going to add the flour to the bowl of a stand mixer. And I'm only gonna use about half of the flour and we'll add the rest in a little bit and you're gonna fit your stand mixer with a dough hook. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can do this by hand, and you'll just pour half your flour into a bowl, and then with your dry ingredients, and you're gonna knead it together. We're also going to add our little packet of instant yeast. I like the instant yeast because you can just dump it right in. And then we're going to add our salt and our sugar and then we're just gonna rise the bowl and kind of whisk the ingredients together. So now we're going to add some warm water and you want it slightly like bath water, like a little warmer than what you would want for bath water. You need it to be warm to wake up the yeast. And we're going to add the water to the stand mixer while it's running, and then we'll also stream in the olive oil once all of the water's in the bowl. So when you're mixing this, you're gonna have a little bit of flour that sticks to the side. You'll need to scrape that down in between mixing. Once your dough starts to come together, we're gonna slowly add the rest of the flour to the bowl. So you're gonna move your dough to a well-oiled bowl. So I just poured a little olive oil into the bowl and then wiped it with a paper towel so that it's completely coated. You're going to let it rise for about an hour and you wanna keep it with a towel or like a paper towel or a tea towel or a dish towel, clean dish towel in a warm space so that it will rise. Your yeast is going to activate and your dough is going to double in size. If you're going to freeze it, at this point, you wanna punch it down, wrap it tightly in plastic wrap, and then put it in a freezer bag and freeze it. And you can freeze your dough for up to three months. You can also roll your dough out into a pizza size, either personal or a standard pizza size, and put it on the pizza pan in the freezer. And then you have a frozen pizza crust. It's a great time saver for weeknight dinner. But with this dough, we're going to make one small pizza. So I'm just gonna let this sit, put it aside, let it rise, and while it's rising, I'm going to make a no-cook pizza sauce. So to make the pizza sauce, this is the easiest pizza sauce ever, and it's no-cook because technically you're going to cook it when it's on the pizza. So this is great to make ahead and keep it in a jar in the refrigerator for Pizza Friday. So you're going to need two cans of tomato paste. You can use tomato paste in the tube, but you really need like 12 ounces total. And these little cans are about six ounces each. Well, these cans specifically are six ounces. And this is a great activity to get the kids to help make in the kitchen because there's no cooking. They're really just scooping and stirring. And then we're going to add three minced cloves of garlic. So you wanna make sure that the garlic is chopped pretty finely since we're not cooking it. 
you don't want it to be like this pungent raw garlic that didn't cook in the eight minutes it, it takes to cook your pizza. So we're just gonna add the garlic and then we're gonna add, this is pizza seasoning and I make this myself. So it's really just oregano and some thyme and some garlic and crushed red pepper. Um, you can get this recipe on my website, thisbourbonsoapbox.com. But I love, love, love this pizza seasoning because it's super simple, adds tons of flavor, and I add it to just about everything now. It's like my new Italian seasoning blend. We're also going to add some olive oil. We'll just pour all that in. Some kosher salt and fresh cracked pepper. And we're just gonna mix all of this up. The olive oil really makes it Make sure you use a very good olive oil. I like to use an extra virgin olive oil. That's it. See how easy that was to make? And if you want it to be a little more saucy, you can add some fresh tomato sauce or a little more olive oil or a little bit of water to kind of thin it out. But I really like that it's thick because I can control it more on the pizza crust. And again, this is awesome for kids because it's a little thicker. So they're not going to like overdo it with the pizza sauce on their pizza and then your cheese slides off after you bake it and it's always a mess and then people are crying because they don't have cheese on their pizza. But definitely make this pizza sauce because it's super, super simple. So once your pizza dough is done rising, we are going to roll it out. So I'm just gonna pull it out of the bowl and I'm just gonna make a small, like personal size pizza because it's just me today. Kids went back to school. I'm going to eat my pizza in peace. So I'm gonna add a little bit of flour to my surface because I'm not a pizza chef. I can't toss it in the air as much as I would love to do that. It's gonna end up on my ceiling. And we're gonna break the dough in half. You can cut it with a knife or a bench scraper or a pastry cutter, roll it into a ball, kind of flatten it out and press out any air that has built up. You can kind of hear the bubbles popping a little bit. And at this point I like to just work it into a circle. And I'm not putting it into a pizza pan today, I'm just gonna put it free form on a baking sheet trying to keep it simple. And this way you can actually not really have to worry about working it into a perfect circle if you're not putting it on a pizza stone or a pizza pan. It's kind of nice to just have like a free form pizza. So just gonna push that into the flour a little bit. Move my cheese over here and we'll just roll it out. And you wanna make sure that your pizza dough is room temperature. If it's cold, if you've been storing it in the freezer or the refrigerator, it's definitely going to fight rolling it out. This one's still a little chilly. And if you get overzealous like I do and you have a hole, you can simply just patch it back up. Just pinch it together, press it down. So that's my personal size pizza. I'm just gonna put that on the pan and then we're gonna make a little pizza. We'll just press out our pizza here. And this one will be a little bit thicker because I'm not gonna roll it out to a perfectly thin crust pizza. It is springing back a little bit. Now we're going to add the pizza sauce. And you can see like it's thicker so you can spread it around. You can see all the garlic chunks and the herbs from the pizza seasoning. I think a lot of people overdo it with the pizza sauce and then their cheese slides off. You really don't need a lot because it's going to spread out. Once it cooks, that sauce kind of spreads out a little bit on your pizza dough. Okay, and now we're gonna sprinkle some cheese. This is just some shredded mozzarella cheese. I like extra cheese. And the fun thing about pizza night is everybody can make their own. So if somebody doesn't like mushrooms, but another person does, you can have out mushrooms for the mushroom lover and the mushroom hater can avoid. And then I just like to top it with a little bit of this pizza seasoning 
that I talked about earlier. And just a sprinkle. It just adds a little extra boost of flavor to your pizza. And that's it. We're gonna pop it in the oven for about eight minutes. So this is my very puffy crust pizza. If you want it thinner, just use a little more elbow grease and roll it out so it's like about an eighth of an inch thick. But you get a nice thick crust with this pizza. Because it's personal, I'm only gonna cut it into quarters. And it looks so, so good. I'm gonna take a quick bite. It's very hot. can taste the garlic, the olive oil in that sauce, the perfectly chewy crust. I prefer a thin crust pizza, but this is phenomenal. The flavors are so spot on and perfect for Pizza Friday. If you like this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more easy recipes, visit thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.